Yeah. And um, are we going to do a side mission playthrough someday for this channel? I think that could be in the works. I think we could totally do that. Okay. And now we are playing as Tails. Tails the Fox. <laughs> or they say Tails Miles Prowler. So what is Tails up to? Modeling the egg carrier. On the same stage as Sonic. I was going to say, haven't we seen this stage before? Yeah. Emerald Coast Miles on crack again? <laughs> So we're gonna have to have to say Admiral Coast on crack part two. And tell us a bit more about what Tails can do different from Sonic in this game. Well you can throw rings at people. That's pretty much it. You can still fly, which is awesome. That totally captures his uh, so, his character. So you guys probably um, think that flying is awesome in um, or Sonic games because like it's a difference of just capturing something else other than the speed enemy that Sonic does. But can you see Tails as a long-running character, like playing in all Sonic games with his flying abilities? I think you give him something more useful to do. Yeah. In Sonic Adventure, all he did was race people, and in Adventure 2, he was in a mech, and then people complained about that. Yeah, I'm gonna admit, I did Of course. The mech didn't do Tails justice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. Tails <laughs> is honestly yeah. my favorite character. Oh, so, DK is the shit, and <laughs> I just want to know, add on, why is Tails your favorite character? Well, when you grow up by yourself, and you're playing your game, and the character's always by himself, it's, uh, it's kind of boring. <laughs> but Tails was always like a Sonic, and uh, the fact that he could fly made him very, very useful, and uh, just fun to play with, and uh, just fun to keep around. I think that's probably why Sonic keeps him around. Yeah, he's probably pretty much like the best friend that any friend could probably have because he really sticks very close to Sonic. He did whine quite a bit though in Sonic Avengers. Yeah, he did whine a little bit, but he's only eight. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, he was in other games. Um, Sonic Heroes after. He was in Shadow the Hedgehog. Sonic is 16 now, uh, Sonic Unleashed, and um, Sonic Colors, but he played different roles. And do you think that Hales needs to play in a flying role all the time, or he should be part of the cast with um, the cameo? I would like to see he should be playable more. again, which, yeah. which he is in Sonic 4 Episode 2 now. Or we think, probably though. Yeah, because um, they had a huge announcement trailer and they wanted to focus on not really Sonic, because I remember watching the trailer and then they had Metal Sonic and Tails flash by. And they actually even have the official concept art for the, the logo for Sonic 4 Episode 2, which has Sonic and Tails. So, do you think that Tails is going to play a big part in Episode 2? I think he will. I hope he does. Um, it will only make the game so much more fun. I think it'll add a lot of replay value to it. Okay. And um, we just completed the stage with Tails, Rave Ocean, we get another S Wreck. Oh, yeah. so he was also playable. He was playable on Sonic CD too when they re released it. Okay. And, um. About Sonic CD, how does Tails play? different from the classic games because there was um, a different Sonic um, 2 engine but he had flight and abilities as well and I remember in Sonic 2 he couldn't fly so how is he different from Sonic 2 compared to the remastered version of you Sonic CD? So much of my time. Pretty much plays like the one how he did in Sonic 3. You had cooperated with me earlier. Yeah, in Sonic 2, he was this. almost like a duplicated Sonic, just with a different do, sprite, Dr. but Eggman. in uh, 
Why Sonic 3 and now the new Sonic CD. He has his own uh, gameplay style to him. Did your parents ever disclose to you anything about Solaris? Yeah. Because um, not only captures everything Solaris Sonic does secret, sorry, on spin dashing, running, brain. running really fast, like from left to right. He also has his own ability just to glide. His power and um, can change time. it's pretty cool to actually add variety to the character. The yeah, I agree. I wish Definitely, to variety is always a good thing. I've, I've always and loved like all the characters. People world. complain about how many characters there From are, the past, but um, the I say the bring future. them on. You wish. To okay, main to play that bothers me is the treasure hunting Sonic Adventure 2. Though that was some of the funnest, and it didn't make Knuckles another Sonic clone. Exactly. I felt that the uh, the alternative gameplay is that what. Um, they did with um, treasure hunting for that expect was that I felt that Knuckles was gliding Liliana more than in any other games chaos. in past history I remember I because I think classics he was running more and probably punching on bodies but he was gliding but in the treasure hunt he was gliding more I think that was what they were trying to showcase with that yeah I, I agree they were trying to show that no Knuckles you know no. He can still Let's climb, he can still glide, now he can punch a little bit better, but he can still punch. And um, they wanted you to use those uh, abilities in the correct combination to make the treasure hunting gimmick really work for the games. Well, <clears throat> would you assume that everyone has to play like on Sonic speed levels, but everyone has the um, variety of flying and grinding or um, with Amy of the Hammer or E102 the um, shooting is all Amen, the Sonic we'll space like how the, how you would play actually it's funny that you asked that the way I see it Sonic should always be the fastest but it's been said before that Knuckles is as strong as Sonic is fast um, I think that Tails should be able to fly maybe as fast as Sonic, but not not run. Um, Amy's hammer, you know, she she should just be able to use it to defend herself like always, but she's slow, which is why she always gets captured. And as for Gamma and the rest, you know, Gamma can maybe be some sort of sharpshooter instead of uh, just locking on and attacking at the enemies. He should be able to shoot as fast as Sonic's Sonic can run. Okay. So, we have just um, gone S rank with that Rave Ocean stage um, and went for cutscene, and now we're in a mission. So, what is this okay. mission about? Well, oh, Eggman has released, but everyone in town's got to slow down Sonic for him to prove himself to save her, even though he did. Three times already. So is the um, people garden something to try and test Sonic for something? You really have to do three things to prove you're strong enough to get through the gate and they have over Kingdom Valley for some reason. And they're not that difficult. So what is the test, um, the first test show? Like what to do, like during the gameplay? Just gotta remember the pattern and enter the portal. Find the goal then. Now, on your first playthrough, was it straightforward or was it kind of um, long because you had to memorize all the pathways? Yeah, it took a few times to remember it. It took me about After 45, that, 45 minutes to complete. <laughs> Cause that that play if you just did that mission was pretty Dang. straightforward. Cause I'm guessing you um, played it a couple of times beforehand. I've only played this game from beginning to end three times. This would be the third playthrough. Okay, and um, we just got an S rank. I'm thinking that it's another time bonus uh, mission. Just only time bonus. And another loading screen. Um. What is the second test about? Yeah, fight a bunch of enemies with no rings. Improve your strength. 